From the Center for the Study and Teaching of Writing at The Ohio State University, this is Writer's Talk. I'm Doug Dangler. Charlotte Gordon joins us as a featured speaker with the 2009 Jewish Book Fair. She has published two books of poetry and a biography of the 17th century poet Anne Bradstreet, which won a New England Book Award for nonfiction. Charlotte received an undergraduate degree in English and American Literature from Harvard University and a PhD from Boston University. As a postdoctoral fellow at Boston, she taught religion and literature, and for several years was a lecturer in Elie Wiesel's seminar, The, religion, the Literature of Memory. Since 1986, Charlotte has taught creative writing, history, literature, religion, and theater at both college and secondary school levels. Her latest book, The Woman Who Named God, Abraham's Dilemma, and the Birth of Three Faiths, it retells the famous biblical story of Abraham, Sarah, and Hagar. Welcome, Charlotte Gordon. And that is a long introduction very for long, you today. Yes. Uh, and uh, I am very much looking forward to talking to you about this book, which you have right here. And tell me a little bit about the writing of this book. How did you start off with it, and what led you into the writing of this particular book? Well, first of all, Doug, thank you for having me on the show. And um, I never intended to write this book ever, ever, but I think like so many Americans, I come from a mixed religion family, um, but I didn't know this. And I was raised as a Christian, and uh, church was very much at the center of our lives. And when I was 12 years old, I found out that my father had actually been born Jewish, but had never shared this information with us. And so that was a surprise to me. And when I would try to talk to my dad about this, he had a pretty complicated relationship to his Jewish heritage. And that set me out on a kind of journey to find out more about Jewish history, Jewish literature, and Jewish religion. And I certainly didn't think that I was gonna fall in love with the Jewish religion, but I did. And um, along the way, really became a student, I suppose, of the Bible, of Hebrew, of Aramaic. and. Um, fell in love with this one particular story in Genesis, which is the story of Abraham and Sarah and Hagar. And the story is, I'm sure most, well, I don't know actually how many people are still familiar with this story, but Abraham is divided by his love for two different women, his first wife, Sarah, and his second wife or concubine, Hagar. And it's out of this division that we get um, the really the story of the origins of all three monotheistic religions. So Sarah, his first wife, is the traditional mother of Isaac, who's the grandfather of the Jewish people, according to the Bible. And Hagar is the mother of Ishmael, who goes on to become the great, 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 great grandfather of Muhammad. And so Hagar becomes the mother, really, of Islam. So out of this divided family, we have the origins supposedly of Judaism and of Islam. And Christians stake a claim in there also, but that's that's also another story. Okay, the next book. <coughs> Maybe, <laughs> it's in this book too, it's okay. in this book. So tell me um, when you started writing this, what uh, you've already done a lot of background um, in the literature and the history, what other kind of preparations did you have to do for it? How did you start out the writing? What was your process? Well, you know, as I said, I didn't think I was going to be writing this book, mm -hmm. but one day in Hebrew class, um, we were reading this story uh, from Genesis, and the rabbi came to the word vayira in Hebrew, and he said, so does anyone here know what vayira means? And nobody was very sure what vayira meant, but um, it means, he says, divided, paralyzed, and despair. Abraham was Vayira. He was paralyzed, depressed, and in despair. And I remember thinking, wow, I feel that way a lot. You know, <laughs> I can kind of identify with this biblical patriarch. Who knew? Who would ever think? And Abraham was divided, says the Bible, because his first wife, Sarah, comes to him and tells him to send his second wife away into the desert. And he doesn't want to. He loves her. And he also loves her child, Ishmael. Mm -hmm. But so he is Vayira, but God says, listen, you've got to do what your first wife says. And so he does. So I thought, what is this story? And I became obsessed with it, actually. It's a little embarrassing to admit, but mm -hmm. I did. 
And how do you I become obsessed about a biblical story? I mean, what <laughs> what creates the obsession? What were you doing that was? I think I was troubled by the story because this idea that um, in the West uh, we tend to think as Christians and Jews that we that Abraham and Sarah are our spiritual parents in some ways. And in fact, if you convert to Judaism, which I did do. Uh, you end up taking Abraham and Sarah as your parents. That's one of the sort of traditions. Mm -hmm. And it just was troubling to me as a story that these parents of ours would be responsible for exiling this woman into the desert. And I think it was troubling. So obsession for me takes the form of reading, 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 reading. Again, no idea that a book was going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that in 2003, I heard the war in Iraq described as a battle between the sons of Sarah and the sons of Hagar. And that's when I realized that my personal obsession really had to go into the world mm -hmm. because I felt like if I could figure out how to tell this story um, with more compassion and more sophistication and intelligence, you know, now this is going to sound so naive, but this is the hope, you know, maybe there would be a chance for redemption. Maybe there wouldn't have to be the kind of violence that we've witnessed because of the historical clashes between religions.